There are 12 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the United States. The latest case was confirmed today in Wisconsin. There are no cases in Texas. But cleaning crews are being trained for specialized biohazard response if that changes. Fox News' Lynn Ann Wynn spoke to infectious disease experts about preparing for the virus. Hi, Lynn Ann. Well, health experts say our risk here in the Metroplex is relatively low, but it's still important to prepare and educate just in case. There's a potential pandemic that's coming our way, and we want to be as prepared for that as, as much as possible. As the number of Wuhan coronavirus cases continues to grow in China and other countries, health officials and infectious disease experts are preparing. The potential of, of having a problem is low, but if you watch what's going on in the world, we realize that the numbers keep going up. Patty Olinger is part of the team at Emory University that treated the first Ebola patients in the U.S. in 2014, including a nurse from Dallas. She says there were lessons learned from that outbreak. What we found was that we really weren't as prepared as I think the United States thought that they were. And so that whole concept of, you know, if someone with a, you know, a very exotic disease like Ebola or this new novel coronavirus is walking in the door, how are we going to respond to, from a public health standpoint, protect our physicians, our nursing staff? Wednesday, instructors from the Global Biorisk Advisory Council trained biohazard cleaning crews on wearing proper protective gear and using new technology to disinfect areas after coronavirus exposure. It's a new virus and it's a new virus that no one in the world has been exposed to and it's moved very rapidly from Wuhan, China, throughout China around the world. Infectious disease experts say the virus is spread through coughing and sneezing and protecting yourself against it is similar to protecting yourself against the flu. Protect your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Use the appropriate disinfectants. Though the number of cases in the U.S. is low, experts are still looking ahead to any possible situation. We hope that, you know, we're all correct in that this doesn't become a real public health issue here in the United States, but it's one of those things that we need to be prepared ahead of time. And the group also hosted a webinar training on handling coronavirus for more than a thousand people this morning. They're hoping to host more trainings for people across the country and around the world.